Hello, you seven. Uh, today we're continuing our look at uh, algebra. Uh, we're looking at algebraic fractions. That is fractions that have uh, pronumerals in them. Uh, we're also then going to look at a little hint of what's going to come more next week, looking at equivalent expressions uh, when two algebraic expressions are the same and when they're not. Uh, so just got a couple of quick examples for today's video. Um, we're going to do some more substitution where we replace the value of a pronumeral with its uh, uh, replace a, new, a pronumeral with its value, I should say, uh, and see what the uh, the result is. So for this one here, we've got v plus one. In this case, v equals seven, uh, and it's all over two, so it's going to be seven plus one over two. And we've got to remember with fractions. Uh, if that line goes across all the uh, all the way, uh, there's a hidden pair of brackets. Now we don't need to write this. I'll do it for this example, and that means we have to do the top uh, or whatever it is first. Uh, now that's the same as if that uh, expression is on the bottom of the fraction two. If that line goes all the way across, then that means there's brackets uh, around all of those terms. If the line doesn't go all the way across, then there is no brackets there. Okay, so we're going to do the seven plus one first, which is eight over two, which is then eight divided by two, which is four. Okay, for B, uh, V equals seven as well. So it's going to be 16 and then seven plus one. We've got to do what's on the bottom first because of the brackets. And then we get two. Uh, for this one here, V is seven. So we've got seven minus 13 on top and W is four, four plus two on the bottom. Seven minus 13, if we take away seven, uh, we get to zero, we've got another six to go. So we've got negative six and then four plus two is six. So this just becomes negative one. And then for D, W is four plus six all over. Make sure that line goes all the way across, 12 minus seven. Uh, so we end up with 10 on top, five on the bottom. 10 divided by five is two. Okay, so just remember your order of operations when you're doing algebraic fractions and you're substituting uh, when you're evaluating. Um, awesome. Now for this second question here, we're going to be uh, coming up with our own values. Uh, and we're going to be testing whether these statements are equal. So we've got two algebraic expressions with an equal sign in between. We call that an equation. Uh, and we're going to test whether this equation is true. That is that the left side of the equation is equal to the right side. Uh, so by substituting values for the pronumerals. So what we're going to do is we're going to give a value uh, for each of these. So let's say k equals 1 and m equals 2. Then we can substitute and check whether it's true. Um, so the left-hand side, okay, I'm going to write LHS, which means left-hand side is going to be 1 plus 2, which equals 3. And then the right-hand side, M plus K, is going to be 2 plus 1, which also equals 3. Okay, so therefore, we can use our therefore statement, okay, uh, the equation is true. Okay, and it doesn't matter which numbers you use. You could use five and a billion, and you get five plus a billion, and then a billion plus five, and they give you the same answer. So the equation is true always. Um, now, I haven't proven that it's true always, but uh, we know for a fact that that would be the case. Now, for this B example, um, that is an interesting uh, thing. Let's say k equals one and m equals two again. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do it shorthand this time. So we've got one minus two for the left-hand side. Okay, which equals minus one. And then for the right-hand side, uh, we would have two minus one, which equals positive one. So in this instance, uh, the left-hand side is negative one, the right-hand side uh, is one. Therefore, we can say the equation is not always true, but, 
Sorry about my handwriting on my screen. Let me just fix that up. Always. But let's try a different example. Uh, what if we make uh, K and M the same value? So we're going to make K, uh, it doesn't matter what it is, 3 and then M equals 3. So they have the same value, which is entirely uh, plausible. Uh, the left-hand side then becomes 3 minus 3, which is 0. And the right-hand side uh, becomes 3 minus 3, which is also 0. Okay, so we can say the equation is true when m and k have the same value. Now, another way we can uh, say that, so therefore, equation is true, sorry, true when k equals m. That is, they have the same value. They equal each other. Uh, for c, we're going to get a similar thing here. So if I let k equal 1 and m equal 2, uh, the left-hand side is going to be 1 over 2, uh, and the right-hand side is going to be 2 over 1, which is just 2. Okay, so uh, equation uh, is true. Ah, uh, sorry, not true. Uh, and then uh, if we try again, let's say k equals 5 and m equals 5, then the left-hand side is going to be 5 over 5, which is 1, and the right-hand side is going to be 5 over 5, which is also 1. So, therefore, equation is true if... K equals M as well. So we get this really interesting uh, thing happening with algebra where there are some algebraic ex expressions which are always equal. There are some algebraic expressions uh, which are sometimes equal depending on the value of the pronumerals. So we're going to be learning some algebraic uh, rules uh, next week uh, that will help us know whether or not a statement is always true or sometimes true. Uh, without having to do the substitution. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Good luck today.